Hello and welcome. Um, I am Jill Charles. I'm a nurse practitioner. I work for the American Academy of Facial Aesthetics, and we work closely in conjunction with V Soft Lift. And so I'm using V Soft Lift PDO Smooth Threads on my patient today, and I'm just going to sort of walk you through that procedure. Uh, as you can see, we're treating the submental area, and this patient is really looking to target this area, tighten the tissue, and create a more defined, defined jawline. And so I am placing these threads in what I call a sunset pattern, just evenly across my treatment area. And my thread of choice today was the VSoft Lift Twisted Smooth Thread. So this is a 29 gauge by 40 millimeter thread. And the reason that I've chosen twisted threads, you can see as I'm about to enter the tissue right there, you can see the thread is actually wrapped around the needle. And because of that, it creates more tissue injury upon insertion and therefore is going to stimulate even more collagen and elastin that you might receive with a mono thread. Now you might ask then why don't I use these for everybody? Well first and foremost they are a little bit more uncomfortable for the patient. Um, you can definitely tell that they're more uncomfortable. This patient happens to be a very great patient, does really well with pain so she's not really wincing much but they are more uncomfortable and they are a little bit more difficult for the instructor to place. There tends to be a fair amount of resistance, and it requires a little bit more of a push to place. Um, and so they're just not needed for everybody. I reserve these for my cases that are either very severe or the patients who are really looking for a dramatic result. Um, otherwise, your mono threads are a great go-to as well. Um, and so that is why I have chosen that thread today. This patient's really, really motivated to try and tighten those areas. Um, so in addition to the submental area, we're also treating her necklace lines. It's also known as tech neck and it results because we're always looking down at our phones, at our screens, whatever it may be. And we form these static creases over time. And so a lot of patients come in wanting them addressed with filler. I like to use PDO threads here because it's stimulating our body to do what it should be doing anyway, which is stimulating collagen and elastin. Um, and so it, this tends to give you a very nice result, a nice natural result, but it is gradual. We do not stimulate collagen overnight. This is a process that takes time. And so we expect to see their, their best results or those results peak at three to six months time. So we recommend treating them once a month for three months straight and then giving them a break at that point where they should be stimulating the most collagen that they're going to get out of the procedure. Um, and as you can see, I've placed these directly into that necklace line. Uh, we will stimulate collagen about one and a half millimeters from where the actual thread is placed. So you see how I have really nice equal coverage in the areas that I'm targeting. I don't want to leave big gaps because then we won't have that collagen in that one particular area. So keep that in mind as your treatment planning that these threads must be placed fairly close in order to maximize the collagen production that you're going to get in that particular area. Um, we teach PDO Smooth Threads in conjunction with VSoft Lift, and these are an amazing treatment. They're incredibly versatile. They could be used pretty much all over the body. Um, and so our PDO Smooth Threads courses, we will teach you all of those different indications, how to treatment plan your patients, appropriate thread selection. There really is so much to learn about PDO Smooth Threads, and it's certainly a skill that I always recommend adding to your practice. Um, because it's pretty quick and easy and the patients are always very impressed with the results that they get from their PDO Smooth Threads. Thank you so much for watching.